first time we are presenting these awards on the 9th of May, Europe Day. So it also gives us an occasion to consider what we actually mean when we think of Europe. I'm humbled by the four laureates of this year's Princess Margit Award for Culture. I'm humbled by their courage, by their determination to use critical thinking and creativity to connect individuals and groups in society who would otherwise not connect. They share for me hope and they share conversation. By using the power of creativity and imagination, we step beyond our own sentiments. Jury members, do you remember that we asked ourselves who exactly we are in Europe? Could culture play a pivotal role in countering the policies of unequal distribution of wealth and other causes of fragmentation? If so, which voices among our extraordinarily diverse nominees would be strong enough to broach such a difficult topic with its complex questions of who can define a notion of us or map the shifting associations that unite citizens and embolden them to embrace multiple constellations of we and us. In her literary and non-fiction writing, Asley raises her defiant voice on behalf of and together with the oppressed calling violence by its name and illuminating a vision of society based on non-violence and political and cultural inclusivity. Consistently, for 17 years, I, am, I have written on anti-violence. I mean, the story of the victim is there to denounce violence. I have dedicated a lifetime of writing to void the wound, the void and the victim. Hence, I dedicate my award through the silent screams of all victims, those within us too. Without their screams and stories, our world, hence our world, will be even more devoid of meaning. Thank you. Navid's exceptional contribution to cultural and political debate challenges increasingly extremist narratives of discrimination and racism, arguing instead for a more nuanced view of religions and a greater solidarity in the face of fragmentation. Asli has just has said in her in the video that in prison uh, solidarity is an act of survival and in many travels which I made to countries where people are in prison because of their writings, because of their political opinions, I always experienced that it matters whether we care or do not care. I would like to take this small opportunity uh, to express my solidarity um, to my writer colleague Asli Erdogan and to all of the other writers in Turkey and journalists who are in prison right now because they are doing their job. And Europe, which is not functioning, cannot convince people. In Europe, which is fearful, <laughs> Europe, which is fearful, cannot create hope. Marina was selected, particularly in light of her project Neue Nachbarschaft. In this exemplary new European neighbourhood, old and new Berliners can discover collaborative ways of living together and develop art's contribution to a shared future in Europe. I should be here and now and work and work with us, do something with us. And I think we do the right thing with Neue Nachbarschaft Moabit because there are people, there are meetings, there are relationships, nobody can take it us. Sa 
Saxophonist and composer Luke Mishala juggles many roles, most of which converge in his artistic directorship of Met X. I need the city to, to create work. I need a lot of uh, business around me, you know, things that happen. It's definitely not keeping the tradition, but to, to create new music, which we sometimes <laughs> call creating Brussels music. You know. For us, it's important to find out how can we communicate on, on a musical level in the first place. Trying to create uh, a, a common language, which is uh, still what drives me, and I thank all these musicians for the for the patience and the willingness to explore together all these areas. Thank you very much, all. My fellow jury members and I hope that this award will amplify their already astonishing work and that it will aid a gradual and wider appreciation of culture beyond its preconceived limits.